Hello everyone and welcome to a recipe video for a creamy delicious broccoli and potato soup. This was inspired by a video from Kalel, but she has recently deleted it. So let's get started. I'll show you how it's done. First off, you're going to want to start by getting a big pot of water boiling. It's no exact amount. It's just a big pot. And then more prep work. Time to clean some onions! I've got two sweet onions here. They're about medium to large side. You can use more or less. I just personally really like onions, <laughs> so I'm just chopping these up. It's no exact science. You're just going to be browning them, so you want them to be a similar-ish size, but this is all going to get ground up in a blender, so you don't have to worry about them being like too big or too little. It's just whatever size you typically like to brown the onion. Right? Okay, I hope that makes sense. But you're just gonna wanna get that in a pan. I've got some vegan butter in there. And then you're just gonna wanna let that brown. And while that's browning, you can go ahead and grab some potatoes. These are some golden potatoes. And get them into some thin-ish slices. I'm sure you can do them thinner than this, but I'm not a chef, so I just did the best I could. And the other things you're gonna need, I had already prepped this stuff, but a whole head of cauliflower, just, you know, in little, little Little tiny chunklets, nothing too big, but doesn't really matter. And then also some celery. It's not an exact amount of celery, but you know, maybe three stalks of it and just chopped up into little pieces like that. I will have like a recipe, quote unquote, in the description down below if you're wondering about all the ingredients and stuff. But then you're gonna wanna go ahead and get some more little golden potatoes. And again, this is not an exact number and you also there's not like an exact size to cut these into. You just want bite-sized pieces for these potatoes. So just whatever you personally like. You're just going to be boiling these and not grinding these up. So just like I said, whatever you like for bite sizes of your potatoes. And then you just plop it into your boiling water and you're just gonna cook the potatoes, you know, nothing too special. And make sure while you're doing all this, obviously, be checking on, in on your onions. You can go ahead, play fetch with your cat, you know, because you're so happy that he plays fetch with you. If you're a cat mom, this is an exciting time in your life. Please pardon anything that looks like trash as well in my apartment. It's not trash. It's actually cat toys, because they love boxes more than actual toys. But anyways, once you're done playing some fetch, you're eventually going to have beautifully browned onions. Oh, I personally like caramelized onions on pretty much everything. But anyways, you're going to want to go ahead and add a tablespoon-ish of chopped garlic into this. And then you can also add your head of cauliflower at this point. Then you're going to be adding some vegetable broth. It's not an exact amount. It's just kind of enough to cover everything in there. Maybe about two and a half cups ish, maybe two and a fourth cup. And you're just going to want that to be getting all nice and mushy. So you'll bring it to a simmer, let it get mushy, and then you can add the celery once the cauliflower is mushy. Again, you're just kind of wanting to get this ready to go into a blender. And you know your potatoes are done when they fall off of a fork like that. And once the potatoes are done, just put them in a bowl and set them aside for later. You don't need to do anything to them except have them boiled like that. So easy peasy. And you know, save yourself some mess. You can use that water again and get your broccoli cooked. I personally like a lot of broccoli, but you can use however much you like in your soup. I just used about that amount in this pot of soup. But keep on checking on your veggies. Make sure that they are getting nice and mushy and kind of mush them down with a spoon. And also, so you can add your two sliced up potatoes once your celery starts to get a bit mushy. And hey, if you're like me, you know, you mess up in life and you used a pot that was definitely not big enough for all that. But you're just going to want to keep on mashing and let everything cook in there. And once it is extra nice and mushy like this, you know, not too appetizing, but don't worry guys. We can add this into a blender now. I don't have like a big blender. I've just got my Nutri Ninja. So I have to do this.
this in increments, but basically you're going to be doing about, well, you're going to be doing all of that veggie mixture and then adding almond milk to it. And that's going to make it nice and beautiful and creamy. Like I said, actual amounts of like almond milk and stuff I'll have listed down below. But then to this, you can go ahead and add some seasoned salt and also you can add some garlic powder or garlic salt, you know, whatever you're feeling. I did garlic powder. I am Italian, so you know, the more the merrier when it comes to garlic. And also some nutritional yeast. I think I mentioned this, but this is a vegan recipe. You're plant-based like I am. Uh, the nutritional yeast just adds a nice earthiness to it. But once you let that simmer for a little bit, let the spices mix in, you can go ahead and add that cooked broccoli and also your little diced cooked potatoes. Yay! I personally like having stuff to chew on in my soup, so that's why I add kind of a lot of potato to that part and broccoli, but like I said, that's totally up to you and your taste. And then again, you can let that simmer for a while and let it all blend together and you have got probably one of the most delicious soups ever. I made this twice in a row, so I've been eating this freaking soup for dinner for probably about three weeks straight now, and that says a lot coming from me because I don't really care for soup. I personally like to chew on my food, but this stuff is delicious. It's so creamy. It's so flavorful. And yeah, overall, I would highly recommend it. So go ahead, give it a try. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and of course, check it out down below if you want the full ingredient list. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!